Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Macon Campbell and this is Making Stuff. So today I'm going to be making something that I've been putting off for quite some time and that is a new branding iron. Now for those of you who've been watching my videos since the beginning, you'll know that when my channel started I went by the name MC's Garage. I know, how creative. I started my channel in March of 2017 and in September of that same year I made this branding iron. Sorry for the interruption, but what I forgot to mention is that in December of that same year, just three months later, I changed the name to Make and Stuff. Uh, there was no announcement or anything like that because I pretty much had no subscribers then. So unfortunately, I hardly even had a chance to brand anything with it. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Now last night I went back and I re-watched that video and it is actually hilarious how terrible it was. I was pretty much cringing all the way through it. From the constant smoking throughout the video and the extra 10 or 15 kilograms I was carrying back then to how terribly clueless I was. Now when I decided to make this I had only just gotten the machining lathe that I'm going to be using today and I was planning on making the branding iron out of this uh, 40 millimeter bar stock but at that stage I didn't even realize that there was an extra set of jaws for this machine that would allow me to hold a larger bar stock and therefore I decided to make it out of a 25 mil instead. So today I'm planning on actually making two different sizes. I'm going to make one out of this 40 mil bar stock and then I'm going to make another one out of this 27 mil hex. I would have chosen a round if I could find it, but it's easy enough to turn this into a round on the lathe. Now my lathe has been known to give me some issues over the last year or so, so I'm hoping that it can keep it together long enough for me to make these branding irons. So let's do it. Okay, so let me quickly attempt to explain what is going on here. So in order to use the machine, you have to deactivate the emergency stop. You turn the speed control on, off, and once the green light is shining, it is ready to use. 
then all you need to do is to turn your speed control to the desired speed and you're up and running. Now in my case, for some reason which I cannot explain, once the machine is turned on, without even touching the speed control, the machine will speed up to maximum RPM, no matter what I do with the speed control knob. So in essence I can still use the machine, but I only have one speed and that is maximum speed. So at one point I switched the machine from a high gear into a low gear, hoping that would reduce the speed of the spinning chuck, but that didn't make much of a difference. So for the remainder of these parts I just had to use it as is. As I said, it's still usable, but it's very scary using it when it's spinning at maximum velocity. So if there are any clever guys out there that have got any idea what is going on with this machine, it would be nice if you'd share that with me. I have already replaced the speed controls pot, but even after replacing that, I still had the same issues. It's really strange because it's an issue that comes and goes. For the last couple of times that I've used the machine, it's been fine. Obviously, as luck would have it, now that I'm using it in a video, it's giving me issues. So anyway, let's get back to the video.
Okay, there we go guys, it's done. And I really couldn't be happier with how that turned out. Just comparing it to what I ended up with the last time I tried this, this is a hundred times better. And I'm not just talking about the product itself, I'm talking about the whole project as a whole. Everything from the actual product and the techniques I used all the way through to the editing of the video and the style of the video. It's really nice to see that over the last two and a half to three years that I've at least made some improvement in all of these areas. You know, there are times that I feel that I don't know what it is that I'm doing here and whether I should even continue doing it. But moments like this really make me realize that I'm at least still moving forward and definitely gives me the motivation to carry on. So with all that said, and once again, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you find this project interesting or cool, go ahead and share it with your friends. If you have any comments or suggestions, drop them down below. And as always, till next time, keep making stuff.